Hey guys, Silence Yao here. Welcome to the 4th anniversary Uta Macross update. So some of you who have probably watched this live stream already would probably know what's coming for the month of August, which is the 4th anniversary of Uta Macross. And there's a lot of exciting stuff to talk about. So we're going to go through the live stream that has now been archived on the Uta Macross um, YouTube channel so if you want to really fully watch everything that they've shown um, go ahead watch it on their channel I'll leave the link to the archive video in the description down below I'm just gonna go through pretty much all the important Uta Macross content only um, so yeah, so get yourself comfortable. It's gonna be somewhat of a long video because there is a lot to talk about. So I will be playing, pausing the video, skipping here and there. So yeah, the usual stuff when it comes to breaking down other people's content. <laughs> so here we go. Alright, we're gonna skip the first part here, let's see. Um, so they are introducing the staff. Of course, if you guys don't know who the four people who are hosting this show, that are part of the Macross crew. Um, we have Kiko... Uh, Inoue-san, <laughs> who is the voice actress for um, Grace from Macross Frontier. Then of course we have the usual... Um, Seiyus. Um, we have Minori, we have Mamegu, we have um, Nozomiru. So yeah. So I guess Grace is the only one that is kind of unique out of all the voice actors, uh, voice actresses. So okay, we'll jump here. Of course, the producer of. Uta Macross talks about the new update, or rather, the history of Uta Macross. <laughs> so we get a bit of like a Natsu Matsuri style, um, you know, celebration going on because it is technically summer. So, alright. <laughs> so Mame Goose playing with the horn. Okay, so with all of that, let's see. Then we've got... Um, the talk about air, air macross. Yep. So they're talking about technically the history of Uta macross that has evolved up to now. So yes, air macross is one of the things that they've um, featured recently as well. Yes, you can watch all this uh, Air Macross content that's on the official YouTube channel for Macross. Um, there are a few that is still region locked. But some of them have been actually been released for international fans already. So if you have not checked them out, make sure you go check them out. <laughs> they, they seem to have a problem... Um, Locating which camera is recording at the moment. <laughs> okay, so they're talking about old content here, or other stuff that we already know. If you guys have kept up with me on the Uta Macross version updates. So yes, um, level cap has been re um, increased to level 60 for D.Va affections. Of course, you can um, touch or tap the screen where the divas are, then you feed them affection points. If not, you go into the page to give gifts to the diva according to what they request. Okay, Minori is babbling with Nozomiru. So this part here is also old news. Um, they talk about how that you can customize the background on your home screen um, whether be it with episode plates illustrations or um, the Uta Macross 
exclusive background. And yes, this is one of the important things. I'm going to pause the video here. This is one of the new updates that they've actually mentioned, which is the deck um, view. You know, normally, you will see um, the game um, set up for your divas will be different. So now they've changed it to this format, which is pretty exciting. It, is, it looks a lot cleaner. Uh, it has a bit more details as well. Um, it shows here like certain episode plates with the skill activated. I guess that's why one of the episode plates here... Uh, I guess the red one is basically the center episode plate. Um, so it's active skill is the represented with the red microphone instead of the blue one which is all the live skill which is very good um so it, it helps you understand how you should set up your uh, divas episode plates and all this kind of stuff um then of course now you get to see the costumes icon here as you can tell um then of course your valkyries you can change it with this tab here so it looks a lot cleaner and then of course you get to see your favorite divas faces with a clearer perspective as well compared to the old or current Utama Cross deck setup. So this is a lot nicer and there's a reason behind why they went with this design so uh, you will find out later on. Or if you've been following me on my page you probably know what <laughs> I'm talking about already. So let's continue. So the producer mentions that the icons look bigger. Mm -hmm. Okay, so before we move on, there's one other thing I noticed. There's this refresh button here. So that's pretty interesting. Um, so we're going to have to talk about you know, um, saving the list and all this. So the set button, where you want to save your diva setup or your deck setup, um, is over here. And of course, if you want to um, automate a setup, this is the blue button here. Um, so yeah, I wonder what this refresh button is for. We'll find out eventually when the game gets updated to this brand new deck style. So that's pretty interesting. Oh, so all this is being updated by the end of the month. So I guess everything will come um, once the first event comes around. Gori gori. So that's the end of the gori gori update. Oh, okay. So we're going to get into more exciting stuff right now. Okay, so um, basically what this banner is saying, um, all the Nyan Nyan celebration news will be updated on the wiki page um, on the 30th of July, uh, basically midnight in Japan. So all the anniversary stuff that's coming out will be there on the 30th, which is just technically three days from the day I'm recording this video. It's currently now the 27th of July. Uh, and yes, this live stream came out yesterday, so it's 26th of July that this live stream happened. So sadly to say, like you guys know, I had to work, so I had to do this late. All right, moving on. Okay, so we finally get to see the full Evolve Nyan Kuji exclusive episode plate. Um, initially, the three divas, oh well, Basara, <laughs> two divas and Basara <laughs> were involved. So Cheryl, Basara, and Mime, the pre evolved image. And of course, when you evolve the episode plate, you get Milane and Ranka included, which is fantastic. I would have expected you know, the rest of the WoW crew members to be around, but 
you know, I guess lack of space. <laughs> Maybe hmm, they might get the ass next year. <laughs> oh well. So yeah, they're talking about the team being for cheer. <laughs> okay, so uh, Mamegui is frustrated about Noni being able to attain one copy. I guess she's not really paying money to play this game. Um, like most of you guys will probably know from all my videos and for the past years and up to now. Um, you can get more tickets by buying the Nyan Kuji exclusive um, stone packs. So yes, the stone packs are now giving out Nyan Kuji tickets instead of the, um, I guess, the seasonal spheres that you normally exchange in the Chaos page for other items. So. With more Nyan Kuji tickets, it means you technically have a higher chance to gain the second copy of this uh, exclusive plate. Um, but don't forget, if you guys have been playing long enough, you can actually evolve the Nyan Kuji exclusive plate. That is, if you've pulled it out, uh, at least one copy from the first existing Nyan Kuji box, which is technically not that hard to do if you've been doing all the... Um, pre-anniversary missions, gaining all those Nyan Kuji tickets that are free technically, um, you should be able to get your one copy and then with a rare up star, you can evolve it to its full evolve form, which is technically what you should be doing uh, if you don't plan to spend this. <laughs> Okay, so um, we are talking about basically the Nyan Kuji reissued exclusive plates. It doesn't have to be anniversary plates. Um, we do have Nyan Kuji appear here and there, um, be it you know anniversaries or some kind of special occasions. So as you can tell, this is the third anniversary Nyan Kuji exclusive plate. And of course, you've got, I think the first year is this one. I mean, there, there have been a lot of Nyan Kuji exclusive plates already, but they're just showing four images. Um, and basically during this period from the 31st of July, which is the end of the month, and the start of the brand new event. Um, so that's coming up, which is pretty exciting. <laughs> uh, yes, so you can exchange for one copy of the Nyan Kuji exclusive plates of your choice um, but sadly to say you will need this fourth anniversary Uta Maku SP medal um, which can only be attained through the Nyan Kuji missions in the future that's coming up so just pay attention to when the special missions appear do your best to attain the SP medal and exchange for the anniversary plate that you are probably missing or have yet to fully evolve um, because you don't have a rare up star on hand to do so and technically rare up stars would be better to evolve um, more powerful episode plates but um, bear in mind Nyan Kuji episode plates are all usable by every single diva, including Basara. <laughs> so yes, it can be used by all 10 characters in the game, which is very good for the current event we are going through, which is the diva improvement events. So technically, Nyan Kuji, excuse me, my nose is a bit stuffy. So, um, so yeah, Nyan Kuji episode plates technically are very versatile even though they may not be the most powerful but they do the job when needed so especially if you have nothing else to equip onto your divas <laughs> all right moving on
Yeah, she's talking about the swimsuit designed by the Valkyrie Seiyus. Okay, so she's talking about Nozomiru's costume design. Okay, let's fast forward. Alright, so this basically is talking about the Red Up Star Fragment missions that's coming up. Um, as you can tell, there's going to be a first half and of course a second half. So two rounds of missions. So got to work hard. Um, we don't know if it's like a full combo challenge or something like that. But usually it's got something related with the event that, during the time periods that these are happening. So do your best. Try and get as many of the rare up star fragments if possible because rare up stars are technically very important. They merge to become a rare up star which is equivalent to a 5 star episode plate. So that's how crucial it is. And they do expire so pay attention to the expiry date <laughs> and use them before they disappear. The other half of this panel which is the summer ticket missions. So once again we have an exclusive gacha ticket um, that you can, if you can tell here, you can almost get um, well a six star episode plate. <laughs> well you can but depending on your luck. Um, so then of course there's costume points for other costumes as well so which is fantastic and this is starting on the 1st of August huh okay let's move on mm. all right okay so for those who are new to Uta Macross, this is something pretty good for you. I'm not too sure if the uh, senior players like myself will be able to enjoy this. So it's coming in two parts. So it seems to be a beginner's lock-in bonus. Um, so as you can tell from all these illustrations here, even though they some of them are pretty old episode plays like up to... I guess Reina's uh, or rather Kaname's here. So only, let me tell you first, straight out truthfully, only the last three episode plates out of the nine they show here are useful. <laughs> Up to this modern day in Uta Macross. Kaname's episode plate gives you the item note. Um, which is fantastic for the ticketing event and of course for gaining materials to power up your episode plates. Ray Ray's episode plate, even though it doesn't have any special note attachment, it does have a decent amount of total score and a good life skill, so it's pretty useful. Maki Maki, however, is the best out of the nine here because her episode plate has an item note attached to it. I myself am using this episode plate up to this day. Um, I've yet to kirafy this episode plate. If you don't know what I'm talking about, it means to have its secret board to level 5 and make the episode plate all sparkly. <laughs> so uh, I have yet to do it because, well, technically I have not done my luck note explanation um, video yet, so I apologize for that. Uh, you know, as a working full-timer, it's hard to find time to do the other <laughs> important videos. Oh god. Anyways, um, why Maki Maki's episode play is the best? Because it is currently one of the only episode plays. If I'm not wrong, I think it is technically the only episode play. With an item note of 20 points. It is the best episode plate for a ticketing event. Uh, I've yet to see anyone that has surpassed this episode plate. Even the 7 star episode plates for Ranka and Cheryl that does have an item note attached to, to it. They only give 10 points each. So Maki Maki's Resonance episode plate is technically still the best. Let's move on!
<laughs> I feel like they're teasing her quite a bit because she has lost touch with um Macross for so long and then suddenly she's invited to this Uta Macross um broadcast and she doesn't know the game. <laughs> <laughs> so it feels like it feels like the Juna scenario when you know the rest of the Valkyrie members are asking Mikumo a question and then Juna cannot reply because she's not the voice actress for Juna's voice. I mean Mikumo's voice. So it's it's kind of that scenario. Okay, let's let's fast forward here. Um there we go, we have another banner. Okay. So they're talking about the countdown uh solo group what? Countdown logable oh countdown login bonus Oh god all the short forms in <laughs> Hiragana it's just horrible. Okay, so basically for the login bonus you you get a total of three hundred singing stones, which is fantastic. Um then of course we have the Nyan Nyan service missions where you can gain Cheryl and Ranka's costumes. Now the thing is, we don't know if these costumes are new or old ones. It might be the costumes that are coming up soon <laughs> in this announcement. So because, yes, Ranka and Cheryl are getting new costumes. Well, technically they are not new. But, you know... <laughs> It's new to their wardrobe. Um, you'll know what I mean later on. <laughs> so, in the past, yes, uh, anniversaries or even the beginning of Uta Macross, which is technically the start or the first anniversary, um, Cheryl did get a costume that is only attainable through unlocking it via bingo missions, if you guys remember um, back in the day. So, yes, it seems like Ranka and Cheryl now are getting costumes that are unlocked through the Nyan Nyan service missions as well. Um, so look forward to that. Then, of course, there is the Nyan Nyan bingo missions where you can get 5-star guaranteed uh, gacha tickets, which is fantastic. Um, you guys seen me use the 5-star guaranteed gacha and been pulling up pretty good episode plates from there. So that's why that those tickets are very, very important, especially for free-to-play players. And the last part here is basically um, free costume plates gacha. So uh, a gacha just basically giving you episode plates with costume points. You know, they, they are not usable for Utame Cross play. They just give you costume points to unlock costumes. It seems, yes, we are getting a gacha with free pools in the future. So that's always good, uh, especially for those of us who have a few backlog costumes that have yet to unlock because our luck is not fantastic. Alright, continuing. Alright, so here are the banners for the free gachas. Um, so once a day, I, I'm sure we are already going through it as this one it starts from the 17th so and the first half ends on the 2nd of August then the second half will begin on the 4th of August all the way to the 14th of August hopefully you guys have been getting good luck um, maybe you put out a 6 star episode plate, maybe not I myself have been getting nonsense. <laughs> so, um, it's free though. It's technically free, but I, I sometimes don't really appreciate all these free gachas because it ruins the um, consistency of your luck flow. It messes things up. Um, like your featured gachas are not getting the luck that they really need. And with what's coming up in August, I really hope my luck is good for the upcoming 7 stars episode plates. Yes, you heard me right. There's going to be two of them. Oh, God. And both costumes, technically in my opinion, are must get. Not because they belong to Ranka or Reina, but... 
it's a set of costumes that you technically want to attain a full set of. But the problem is, if all five ladies, <laughs> yes, I'm giving you a spoiler right here, are going to have their costumes locked behind the seven star episode plates, that's going to be a problem. So let's find out what costumes they are soon. <laughs> Alright, so, okay, this is the free gacha that everyone should be very excited for. It is the guarantee 5 star and above. It means you can attain a 6 star episode plate from this gacha as well, even though the banner here shows mainly 5 star episode plates. But it is... Guaranteed 5 star and above, well, and 4 copies of them will appear. So, who knows? If you get crazy good luck, maybe all 4 copies will be 6 stars. <laughs> well, a man can dream. <laughs> yeah! So, look forward to it. It's starting on the 3rd of August. You're really, really generous this time around. Okay, so yeah, like I mentioned earlier, um, all the Nyan, uh, Nyan Nyan Matsuri events um, information in Japanese will be put up on the official Utah Macross wiki page on the 30th of July, so three days from now, um, at noon. So, if you guys want to check out the information, I'm sure I myself will do a video on it when it comes out. Um, but of course, most of the information will probably be in this video already. They might add a few more things, like maybe the event songs, the event titles for the second, third, and fourth events of the month. Um, and maybe future costumes as well, so we will definitely have to check it out, eventually. Let's see, okay, so there's more news. Yep, yep. Right, let's fast forward, as you can tell from the fast forwarding, this is the one that we have to talk about. <laughs> oh god! So yes, it is now a thing. Um, crossover costumes. Cheryl is wearing Mikumo's costume. Ranka is wearing Reina's costume, but with a color design change. Uh, of course, Ranka's iconic orange, yellow, green. Um, you know, from her Sekan Hiko, uh, Sekan Hiko costume. But strangely enough, Cheryl's costume, um, I mean, she does have this side um, colors changed. Her costume design is not that far off from Mikumo's, unlike uh, Ranka's and Reina's design. Re uh, Ranka's design really looks very strange, personally, uh, <laughs> to me. Even though I adore Ranka a lot, but, you know, the color coordination somehow feels a bit strange. Um, you know, with Ray Ray's design, I feel like maybe the main iconic color should have been green instead of orange. You know, just swap the palettes. Um, yeah, it looks a bit strange. <laughs> it looks like a pumpkin. <laughs> um, and, but you know, some of the Japanese fans call it, um, you know, a uh, rock melon with whipped cream in the center and yeah, that, that design <laughs> but strangely enough Mikumo's design really isn't that different for Cheryl um, you will see it in the live performance that they show so yes this part of the video of mine is gonna be copyright claim 
<laughs> Just like all the other SP videos that I've done in the past. So yeah, if you guys have watched up to the, this point and you've heard my reasoning, it really helps out if you guys leave a like and of course share the content for those who are playing Utama Cross uh, in the English language. Uh, international fans basically who want to know Utama Cross. Yep, so they're asking the best Seiyu at playing the game to do a demonstration. We all know how good Mamegu is with music games. <laughs> so yes, they're gonna demonstrate the costume with the song Infinity 7, Infinite 7, I think. I'm bad with song titles, so don't blame me. <laughs> Very hard though, yes. It seems like she's struggling with very hard for Infinite 7. Huh. That's surprising. Oh, it's Infinity, okay. At least she's playing on a tablet. It got a bigger screen, more movement space. Unlike me, you know, I I'm playing it on my handphone. <laughs> So if you don't know what they're talking about, basically Mamego is asking um, the producer what difficulty level. Um, so the producer say it's a 4 star difficulty song. So you can tell that Mamego is a, really a real gamer. She, she's, she's trying to break down the facts before entering the challenge, which is fantastic. <laughs> They're still having problem figuring out which camera. So here we go. We get the setup design for the new deck. Um, as you can tell, yeah, Ranka is wearing the new costume. Then of course Cheryl is wearing the new costume as well. Um, of course she's a part. They are they are partner with uh, Freya. So yeah. So it seems like strangely enough they didn't change the Valkyrie to a frontier. Valk, so that's pretty strange. Then of course, you can see the skip ticket logo is different now. You don't have to highlight whether you want to use it or not. You just tap a different button, which is fantastic. You know, it's just annoying if you have to keep highlighting and unhighlighting. Then when you forget to unhighlight, and you end up going into the song, having to play it when you have no time to do so. That happens to me a lot, especially when I'm working <laughs> using the skip ticket. At the right time is very crucial in a full timer's life. Uh, uh, so having two different buttons is good, you know. So let's take a look at the live performance. Uh, bye bye monetization in the future. <laughs> huh? So wait, wait, before we move on, I want to talk about the. Uh, episode plate setup. So you'll notice that the Dana team has set up um, 7 star episode plates as live skill support. Which is pretty strange because 7 star episode plates live skills are technically horrible. It's better off to use 6 star episode plates with better live skills even though the total score on the episode plate may not be as godly as a 7 star but still that life skill percentage boost difference is going to be a major difference compared to a 7 star episode plate even a Kira fight fully power up plus 25 luck 6 star episode plate is going to be way better than a 7 star episode plate um, without anything added on to it so Oh, we get to see the 
Oh, so that was actually the fully evolved illustration for those episode plays. Interesting. So it seems like Cheryl's episode play is meant to be center position use. Hmm. I really wonder what skills the episode play will have. So here we go. Uh, so yeah, you get to see Mamegu play Infinity 7 with Cheryl and Ranka in their crossover costumes. So yeah. Ray Ray's costume. So the only difference that Ranka has from Reina's costume is that ribbon on her head. <laughs> then of course Mikumo's costume is just the color change for Cheryl. So yeah, they're talking about um, Mikumo's costume on Cheryl. It makes her look like a real idol. Uh, it's something that normally Cheryl doesn't wear. And surprisingly enough, the devices at the side, I, I don't know if you guys can see. Um, there we go. Um, the devices here, they will usually have the logo. Um, so Cheryl's logo is actually her heart logo. Um, if you guys are familiar with the logos of each of the characters, you know, their signatures, basically. Um, so yeah, it shows Cheryl's heart logo there, which is fantastic. I wonder what Rankas is. Is is it is it the other heart design? So as you can tell, um oh it's oh Sancho. Okay, so Rankas <laughs> logo in the the device is actually the um the the telephone kun <laughs> the mobile phone uh or rather the Japanese call it O Sancho san. Um, so yeah, so as you can tell, throughout this whole live play, um, both divas did not do a special sequence because the costumes technically are not meant to be used for this song to perform a special sequence. So, Alright, so with that, let's jump forward. Let's see, they're going to talk quite a bit right here. And okay, so they're gonna show off the new trailer for the Macross Delta movie as well. Okay, so we'll jump to here. Okay, so um this part isn't exactly for us international fans unless you happen to be able to go to Japan, you know, with for business purposes, then somehow or rather you can enjoy yourself there for time being. During um, this period, from the 12th of August, um, noon onwards, you can actually get bromides. So if you guys don't know what bromides are, basically they are photos, uh, printed photos. Um, and you can enjoy Uta Macross 4th Anniversary illustrations. So you can see they have provided episode plate images of um, some of these episode plates that you can see on the screen. Um, and get them as bromides when you purchase early movie tickets for the Macross Delta and Frontier movie. So it's really basically for pe the people in Japan, the Japanese fans and of course the international fans who are living in Japan, working in Japan or somehow or rather manage to visit Japan during this pandemic period. That's what you can get. So let's move on. So there are 10 different designs. Seems like this is the second round as well. So I wonder what the first round was. Hmm. Okay, so what other information? Okay, they will announce. Okay, this one. This one is pretty mm, old already. So this Wednesday, which is basically two days time or tomorrow, <laughs> um, we are getting Air Walkure. So once again, the five ladies will talk during um, a summary or flashback of the Valkyrie lives that they've been doing. Um, you know, since their Macross Delta debut. So, if you guys want to watch it, I think it should be VPN free. Um, 
That means it's open for international fans to watch, just like the last Macross Frontier and Macross Delta Air Macross um, that recently happened as well. So hopefully this one will be the same. Alright, so let's see what's up next. Okay, the next one is the most exciting one that you guys have been waiting for. And there it is, guys. Yes, I am going to get copyright strike. <laughs> the live performance of five divas in Uta Macross is finally upon us. We have been asking for it. Dana has asked us fans as well what we would like to see in Uta Macross. And they've listened and they provided. So yes... Mirai on with the resonance costume with all five ladies. So if you guys want to hear an undisrupted version of this without my face on the screen, go check out the actual stream or the archive of this broadcast uh, on the Uta Macross Mac, um, YouTube channel. Links in the description down below. Check it out. Watch the whole thing if you can. You know, it helps. Dana earn um, ad revenue and of course it means more content for us in the future which is always good so that's how you can support any YouTubers channel be it official media companies or even myself watch through the whole thing don't skip through if possible <laughs> not like what I'm doing I'm, I'm doing this I'm skipping through because of you guys so <laughs> so Technically, I've already watched through the whole thing when it was live streaming. Um, so I already know what's to come and I can talk to you guys about it. So I've given my ad revenue to them already. <laughs> Alright, 5 people unit live coming soon. Basically at the end of this month. Sugoi ne! Alright, so let's fast forward to the next news. Oh, yeah, this thing finally is here. So it seems like they watched it again. Because I think Mame Gu mentioned about how lively it was. Okay, so here we have the banner that you guys are familiar with because I posted it on my page on Facebook. So the event starts on the 31st of July, which is in 4 days time. Hopefully you guys are excited. Okay, so there's one other thing I need to mention about this banner. Um, it says here, the home background, um, Valkyrie Life, as you can tell, this stage. I don't know if it's attained after you attain this episode plate, which is the event's uh, exclusive episode plate which is fantastic having such a nice plate given free in the event if you play hard you get something nice and the illustration isn't that bad actually having five ladies on one illustration it's pretty good I mean it's not the first but it's pretty nice and I don't know if the episode plate actually unlocks the background for your home uh, if it is that's something new that's pretty interesting We'll find out when the event comes around. Ah, so they're performing the five diva uh, performance now with Cheryl and Ranka. So this one we have to watch again because something's gonna happen. <laughs> So yeah, I'm sure you guys have picked up on it because I mentioned it earlier. Uh, if you notice that Cheryl and Ranka did not perform a special sequence, here it is. And yes, this time round, all the Walkeray members are wearing their default costumes. Yeah, there we go. And yes, Ranka does the Walkeray logo! You know, it gives me goosebumps when I watch this because 
it reminds me of Macross Crossover Live 2019. I'm, I'm sure some of you guys who have watched the Blu-ray or DVD editions will probably know what I'm talking about when uh, Mamegu or Mayan actually perform with Valkyrie in Day 1 and Day 2. And basically, they did <laughs> this in real life. So it gave me goosebumps. Um, fantastic. <laughs> So yeah, I still find Ranka's color coordination very strange. <laughs> I mean, but it's, it's cute that she's wearing Ray Ray's costume. <laughs> okay, so... Yeah, I mean, this is basically what we can do in the future with the 5 unit live performance, but, you know... Unit performances are not for every song. Um, not all songs will get five units. There are still those with three units, two units. Um, so we're still missing four units though. So there's one reason why um, I have actually mentioned on my own Twitter um, that the next thing that I will really want Dana to implement into Uta Macross is a four unit live performance because of one thing fire bomber 7 <laughs> so yes if you guys have seen that live nah, i wouldn't call it live but you know there was a live concert for it and of course there was a section in one of the macross frontier movies or ova um where basically ranka and cheryl sang fire bombers song <laughs> and I really want a four unit performance uh, capability and of course if they can include the Fire Bomber 7 songs that will be fantastic. You have Basara, Milane, Ranka, Cheryl performing on the stage together. That will be so awesome. And of course you can set up maybe in the future you have Basara, Milane and if you have Juna and Cheryl on the stage. Because for those of you who have gone to Macross Crossover Live 2019, you probably know what I mean. When Juna, Mayan, and um, uh, Yoshiki was performing on the stage, the three of them had such a bond together. It was so spectacular. I really wish I could recreate that inside Uta Macross. You know, so that would be fantastic. Okay, so let's see. Let's jump to the next information. Oh, here it is. Uh, guys, are your wallets ready? Yes, you are looking at the two seven-star episode plates for the month of August. And they are the Mirai on costumes. Oh god, why do they have to lock them behind 7 star episode plates? Kaname fans, Freya fans, I feel your pain. Eventually, it'll be my turn when Ray Ray's and Maki Maki's come around. Can you imagine if all 5 Mirai on costumes are locked behind 7 star episode plates? That's just horrible. <laughs> I mean, I love the design. I love what uh, Mita, uh, Mita Chisato has done um, for the illustration. It's just so lovely. It's so lively. It's so... I want it! <laughs> you know? Even though I'm not a big Kaname fan, I'm not a big Freya fan, but it's just so nice to look at. It's so colourful. It's so lively. I mean... You know, you're going to see hot pants. So, <laughs> aside from that, why? <laughs> uh, okay, so, enough agonizing over the fact that we have to toss our money. Um, thankfully, it is the anniversary for Uta Macross, so singing stone packs with Nyan Koji tickets are definitely a good incentive to invest in. If you have the cash, buy those packs. Um, as usual, there's going to be two rounds. If you still have the days for the EVE um, discounted packs for the Nyankoji ones, buy them before they move over to August. You can use the singing stones to try and attain this two episode place. Oh god, thankfully, the last 
months, I mean, this July's seven stars were horrible. I'm just hoping that these two seven star episode plates do not come with no attachments to them because if not, it makes them even more painful to not attain them. <laughs> All right, moving along. Okay, so basically, they are just wrapping up the show. Uh, then, of course, they're talking about, you know, the free gachas, the templates. And, of course, the ones that give you the four copies of five star and above. And, of course, Valkyrie's um, Shutoraru, which is basically the default costumes for Valkyrie. Um, Shero and Ranka versions. So, cross over yeah so costume crossover um then of course the unit life person uh five person performance and of course let's move forward because there's nothing else to talk about okay so here is the game section of every sp basically they will ask the seiyus to play something then of course if they manage to attain the the requirements um, will get 200 singing stones as presents if they complete or rather successfully um, clear the challenge. So uh, I'm not too sure if they actually did because Minori, Minori, okay, so if you want to, if you guys want to see it for yourself, so they have to shoot a target with these air rifles. Um, like in any Natsumatsuri games, you know, they try to shoot the prize they want to win. So for instead of shooting the prize, they just have to shoot a target um, and knock it down. So Minori was technically able to do it. Technically, she kind of cheated, but, <laughs> but she did it for us, the fans. Um, then... Nozomiru kind of cheated, but I don't know if they consider it as a, a loud success. Then they ask uh, Inoue-san, which is uh, Grace's voice actress, to take part as well. And she she technically failed, but I don't know. You guys go watch it yourself. It's pretty hilarious what they did. Um... So I'm just going to break down information for you guys here instead of letting you enjoy all the other stuff. So, okay, here is one other thing. There is actually, um, I will guess, a lucky draw going on. Um, so you have to use this keyword, which is Akiramenai, um, and submit it to Dana. There is, there is technically a form that you have to fill up, so... I don't think the international fans should take part in this because if they require a Japanese address and all that kind of stuff, you might not be able to attain the um, the gift or the present, which is basically a sign from the seiyus who are hosting today. I I want mommy good sign. <laughs> so I'm I'm feeling heart pain for myself as well. So yes, technically there is this thing going on. Just thought I might let you guys know. Uh, I didn't post about it on my Facebook page as well because it's really kind of pointless for international fans to try and take part in this. Uh, usually they might skip international addresses, you know, so. So yeah, this is exactly what we've been talking about. So yes, the present is the four people's sign. Okay, so moving along, let's see what else is there. Or is that it? Okay, so this is the other thing. Um, the last thing I think that we have to talk about, which is basically um, Uta Macross's questionnaires. Um, basically... They just want to find out stuff from the fans, uh, like you and me. Um, so you can actually access this um, questionnaires through the game itself. 
I'll probably shift over to Mac, uh, Uta Macros in just a moment to guide you guys through how you can do this questionnaire to attain the free 20 singing stones um, you know as long as you just take the time to try and do it so mm, that is if you technically can type Japanese if not I don't know why not just give it a try it's 20 singing stones after all especially for free to play players it will help um, personally for yourself and of course for the growth of Uta Macross maybe they're asking what the players are wanting to see um, next in next year's anniversary for players for for Diva's performance please <laughs> Fire Bomber 7 I want that <laughs> and of course medley songs in Uta Macross will be great but you know it's gonna be one of those super long songs uh, and Merry Christmas Without You was already long enough, horribly long enough. Can you imagine trying to get a perfect full combo for songs that are like 7 minutes long? <laughs> That's just horrible. Uh, <laughs> Alright, so I'm just going to double check if there's anything else. If not, I'm just going to double um, jump over to Uta Macross. Alright guys, we are now here on Uta Macross, so we're gonna talk about how you can fill up the questionnaires or survey basically, um, so you can get yourself those 20 free singing stones. It might take a bit of time, but hopefully you guys are prepared to do um, what's good for Dana and yourselves in the future, um, if you guys want to enjoy Uta Macross. Um, every year so let's do this so all you have to do is press this pink button here on the home screen it'll pull up all the notifications or basically the promotional banners and look for the particular pink one here tap it it'll bring up this notification page and of course you need to pay attention that this survey is only available from the 26th of july which was yesterday to the 30th of July which is technically 3 days away so you have only 3 days to fill up this questionnaire forms if you want to attain the free 20 singing stones for your account it's especially important for free to play players because every bit of singing stones is just that critical for future gameplay so all you have to do is tap this underline Japanese text Kochira Kara and we will begin um, to this page so as usual just scroll down and of course tap the agree blue button you know because I don't think you want to read the Japanese text on the uh, rules and regulations and all the other stuff so basically what Dana wants to find out from you this time round is what do you think of the um, the idea of using the SP broadcast to uh, update us on Uta Macross content and all that kind of stuff. So basically the first question here is asking you how far did you watch into the live stream if you did or maybe did you watch it after the live stream has been archived or that kind of stuff. So the first option is basically if you watched it all the way through without you know skipping or fast forwarding in the live stream so I'm gonna select that basically that's what I did and of course um, this, the lower you go it basically means how late or how um, how much attention you paid through the live stream of course the first three options is basically to um, mention about your attention span within the live stream itself if you watched it live so of course the, the first one is being the best, you watch through the whole thing, then of course followed by didn't watch as much, then barely watch. Then of course the last three basically is um, to talk about whether you watched it on YouTube as archive or you know as something else and of course didn't watch at all. So answer accordingly to how you found out about the information on the Uta Macross 4th anniversary um, information live stream. So first answer is for me, then of course the second one basically is telling 
ask um, what do you feel about the content? Is it interesting or not? Of course, the top box is basically the most interesting to the least interesting reply. So, of course, I will probably go with very interesting. I was pretty happy with the information. So, that's what I'm going to go with. Then, of course, on this question, basically, they are going to ask about each of the individual sections within the live stream. Which one do you find the most interesting to the least interesting from left to right so left being the most interesting right being the least interesting so if you guys did watch through the live stream you know the links in the description down below if you have not done so make sure you go check it out then of course answer the questionnaires accordingly to which you find the most interesting so i'm gonna fill this out according to my personal um, feelings so i'm gonna say that that's uh, okay um, it was pretty okay, very good. So, yep, crossover costumes, very good. Mm, information about a movie, pretty mad because we've already known about it for quite some time. Um, of course, the five person unit live, um, the information, and of course, the gameplay between all the, the seiyus. So, that's how my grading is for the whole live stream. Then of course this one is asking you um, which three corners is your most favorite. So I'm gonna go with uh, definitely the crossover costume, um, the five person units, and of course probably yeah the information about the new episode place and all that kind of stuff. Then, of course, this one is basically to give your own personal opinions regarding the live. If you have any, that is if you can type Japanese. But if you can't, just press the next button. You'll skip over it. And for this one, it's basically asking, where do you normally get um, your most Macross information from uh, about the live stream and other stuff? So I'm going to show, I'm going to just select the ones that I usually um, notify about so it's the official Uta Macross Twitter showroom so we got Macross Gatomoranai Lime well recently they just revived Lime <laughs> so yes um, Twitter we've got the Uta Macross account the official Macross account uh, Rokomi I don't think foreigners will probably use um, then of course the personal Seiyu's Twitter accounts Web media, not really that much for me. Within Utah Macross, the game itself, yes, if you've seen the banners, you've probably seen it. And of course, the official Macross Twitter. I mean, you can put in others, which is basically this one. You can, if you you want to select Facebook because of me, <laughs> that is always welcome. And that, that kind of stuff. So, yeah. So, that's it for question 6. Then for question 7... Um. Hmm. Okay, so I'm gonna say yes for this one, um, because they're just basically asking you about um, do you pay attention to all the Uta Macross information? You know, so I'm gonna say yes. So all right, then um. Oh, sorry. Question 7 was basically asking whether you've watched previous Uta Macross update live streams. So definitely for myself, I say yes because I have to update you guys. I'm sorry guys, I'm feeling a bit sleepy. It's technically 4.30am right now and I'm still doing this video because apparently this website was on maintenance until 5am in Japan, which is 4am for me. So I had to wait to complete this section of this video so guys i really appreciate it if you like share subscribe this for this video because it's really tough when you have to do uh, content such as this to to meet up with the trends and the immediate needs you know so okay so number eight is basically asking you which live streams you've watched so from the first ever um, Uta Micro SP broadcast up to the current one. So I'm going to take all of them because 
I've actually watched all of them to provide you guys all this information every year. So, hey, okay. so they're asking about how interesting it was for the third anniversary Utah Mac Cross um, SP broadcast. So I, I found it pretty good. So I'll just select the best answer, which is as usual the top one. Um, then of course personal information or you know opinions regarding the Uta Macross release information broadcast so I'm gonna skip this if I have nothing to say then from here question 11 basically is asking you um, do you know of the means that they share all this information do you know of Macross Gatomoranai on showroom of course I do I I try to record the shows for you guys on my Facebook page as well. Um, then of course, do you know Air Wakure Premium Live? Uh, that is if you bought the ticket before to watch the live stream. Um, so yes, I have done that myself. I've bought it before. Icons, uh, Icon was Sagase. Basically, it's the April Fool's event in Utah Cross. Have you participated in it? Yes, I have. Wild Korea Live Tour 2020 to 2021. Yes, I've seen it as well. And Wild Korea Utama Cross Live 2020. Yes, I have. Um, for international fans, it's probably a bit difficult for you to answer the same way that I did. I I do because unless you have a VPN to watch all these live streams, you probably might not have. So answer accordingly, honestly. So. Um, Uta Macross, um, me, right? No, no, no. What, what, present campaign? I'm just going to say yes, because I, I've basically done all this, except for this one. Birthday best shot. So, um, you guys probably won't know about this, because I don't really post much about it on um, Facebook. Uh, because basically, you have to take best screenshots of the birthday diva or basara. Um, performing whichever song you know just the, as long as they look nice within the screenshot and of course you go to Twitter you, you add that picture to Twitter with a hashtag you know best shot contest whatever so I know about it but I don't do it because I don't have the time um, and the rewards isn't exactly fantastic <laughs> so Uta Macross um, Super Dimension 3D Live Tour, yes, I have seen all the live tours, so I'm just going to say yes to all these, yep, smartphone, what, the shooter, oh, okay, so this is the April Fool event that happened this year, um, basically the SDF Macross side-scrolling shooter game, um, yeah, I've played it actually, so. Um, then of course the white bunny and black bunny campaign events so if you guys have been playing Utah Macross most of this will probably be in the uh, I've seen it I've taken part in it which is basically this column moving along question number 12 so they're asking which of these do you find you know the most interesting to the least interesting from left to right so yes i'm gonna say interesting interesting um definitely interesting <laughs> icons icons um yeah event was pretty interesting um well create live tour yeah because usually all these live tours on Uta macross um or rather the official macross channel um they usually review certain things you know at the end so that's always very interesting um, so yeah select accordingly okay where is the best shot so oh they didn't ask about best shot okay moving along I'm feeling sleepy I'm very sleepy right now <laughs> okay question number 13 um, so basically they are asking you about Uta Macross's play do you still find it interesting or not? So of course, interesting being the most interesting the being the first um, reply. Um, then of course, so so and horrible <laughs> downwards. So I'm gonna say 
it's still pretty interesting, but it's not the most interesting. Um, it, the game can be very boring since it's very repetitive. I've mentioned it before in some of my videos. Um, luckily enough, new events have popped up and all that stuff. Um, you know, gameplay, life hacks, you know, that kind of stuff. And of course, you know, question 14 is basically asking you for your own personal opinion. If you have any, if you can type in Japanese, please fill it up. Uh, if not, leave it blank, move on. Question 15, they are basically um, asking you from the range of 0 to 10, how, um, how much would you recommend Uta Macross to a friend? So personally for myself, I'm going to give it an 8. I usually only recommend Uta, Uta Macross to friends if they know the Macross franchise. If not, there's really no reason people will play this game. Um, you know, unless they are just music game fans, which I've come across and there are people like that. So that's pretty interesting. <laughs> Alright, moving along. Question 16. So Uta Macross, what other games do you play beside this game? So they have Uma Mumis, uh, Uma. Uma Musume. Why am, I so Why am I having such a hard time pronouncing the game's title? Uh, Bandori, so Band Dream, I think. Then Project uh, Sekai, so which is the recent Hatsune Miku game. Love Life series, Idol Master, Ensemble Stars, uh, Piano uh, Smike. Sis what? Piano Smike. What the heck? What the heck is that? <laughs> Utano Prince, uh, then Fate Grand Order, Genshin Impact, definitely. Uh, Azure Lane, Grand Blue Fantasy. Um, if you can read some of these game titles, I'm sure you guys know what they are. I don't have to go through all of them. I'm just going to select the ones that I play. <laughs> uh, then you guys can figure out the rest for yourself if you actually do play it. Um, yeah, I don't play most of them already or oh, i have played them before but i don't play them anymore question 17 is pretty simple what is your gender well as you can see on the screen i'm a dude so <laughs> sadly to say they don't cater with uh, lgbtq stuff so japan is very strict regarding all this kind of stuff still um so yeah um then of course they're asking you if you for your age so yes, you can see I am that old. <laughs> Alright, so that's it. I'm submitting my response. And once you're done, you will always see this fantastic page. Um, then of course, you're good to go. You will get your free 20 singing stones and your present box eventually once they have collect, uh, you know, gathered all the information they need uh, after the event period and of course they'll distribute the presents to everyone's present box who have actually filled up this questionnaire or basically it's a survey so guys that's it for the Uta Macross 4th anniversary information hopefully you guys had a fun time um, realizing what Dana has installed for us for this year and next well up to the next anniversary that is I'm pretty excited. What are you guys excited for? Let me know in the comment section down below. And until then, I'm gonna go to bed right now. I'm very tired. I still have work tomorrow. Guys, like I said, I really appreciate it. If you watch through the whole video, like, share, subscribe. And until then, I'll see you guys soon. Bye.